you have the ring. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Now let's see how well you handle it. Okay. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. We haven't talked about the upcoming The Batman film, which is going to be kind of like the, the relaunch of the character with Robert Pattinson <laughs> donning the, the cow you know, for the first time. People are excited about this. I'm certainly not one of them, and I'm certainly less excited about it after we heard from the Batman co-writer, Mattson Tomlin, about exactly what they're planning on, on exploring in this rendition of The Batman. And here with me to talk about this, is the man behind all the great comic book movies discussions here on the channel, my boy, Fatal J from the Fatal J Show. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderfully, absolutely, magnificently, stupendously, wonderfully. I already said that before. I'm doing super de duperly good. I agree with that. You're glistening right now. Unfortunately, the people at home aren't going to see it, but I get to see it. And it's <laughs> it's wonderful. It's it's something. It's it's something to behold. I want to yeah. say thank you for joining us. And if if you're a first time viewer of the channel, or you've been coming around but haven't subscribed, there's not a better time to subscribe to Thinking Critical uh, YouTube right now. We're one of the hottest channels in, in comic book YouTube. Obviously, we're covering movies here right now. Hit the bell for notifications if you do. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this conversation. Give us an enormous thumbs down if you don't. Let us know why we always enjoy the feedback. And there will be a link to Fatal J's uh, YouTube channel in the uh, in the video description. And you'll have an opportunity to subscribe at the end of the channel. Now, I don't know about you. We have not talked about this before. I have not been looking forward to Matt Reeves, the Batman. I like Matt Reeves. I think what he did with the Planet of the Apes franchise was spectacular. Him moving into the Batman, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. Once he started uh, casting the roles, Robert Pattinson is is uh, is Bruce Wayne. I think Zoe Kravitz is um, is Catwoman. Yeah, uh, I can't remember Fairmore exactly who he who he cast as um, as Jim person. Gordon. I like that that casting. Oh yeah, that's but, the black guy from uh, uh uh what's the people that's robots on HBO? Westworld. Westworld. The black guy from Westworld. The, with the glasses. Yeah, I can't remember his name right now. Andy Circus is um I believe he's going to be Alfred. Alfred. There's just some weird casting in there. I think it's going to work. Is it Colin Farrell's going to be Penguin? Colin Farrell is a good actor. It's going to no, work. He's not. He's a terrible actor. <laughs> you don't like phone booth? Phone booth no, is I like good movies. I don't like phone booth. <laughs> Man, look here. I'm going to tell you. People, you, like, gonna... you like the Total Recall reboot, didn't you? Oh, heck no. All right. Can, well, at least you're not. You can never remake. Gone. You can never remake Total Recall ever. That's like one of the best Arnold Schwarzenegger movies of all time, if not the best. But. It's one of the I'm best science fiction the pony, action movies of all time. But I'm, so I, I'm not on board with the Batman guy. to begin with. I think the casting has been weird. You don't get the sparkly vampire dude to be Bruce Wayne. <laughs> sure, he's tall enough, but he certainly doesn't have the physical build. Or the, you know, he is an actor, I guess, but he doesn't yeah. feel like he's going to be able to play, portray a good Bruce Wayne. And my, my enthusiasm for the Batman is at an all-time low after hearing this quote. I'm going to read it to you now. Okay. This is from Mattson Tomlin the co-writer of the Batman. I think that really looking at Batman as somebody who has gone through this trauma and that everything that he's doing is then a reaction to that rather than shy away from that, I think this film leans into that in some very fun and surprising ways. I think that's all I can say without getting yelled at. I don't know, Fatal Jerry, are you excited for traumatized Batman on the big screen? Feels like we just got three or four years of traumatized Batman in comics. And uh, it was enough. I'm going to quote Napoleon Dynamite. This movie, Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson, the Batman, people will bow to it. <laughs> movie, I'm telling you, Wes, it's going, it's going to surprise everybody. Everybody had their doubts about Ben Affleck, Batman. And Wes, I already know you. Not know. I mean, I thought it was great casting. I thought Heath Ledger okay. as a Joker was great casting. Okay. I'm telling you, Robert Pattinson. Yes, I know he did Twilight. He was young then. I think he was uh, 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 fresh. He was probably 32 years old when he made that movie. Really? I thought he was early 20s when he did Twilight. Are know. you he sure? Like he was about 45 to me, so I figured he was about 30. <laughs> Robert Patterson, I'm telling you, if we would, if Tenet would have came out like it was supposed to, he would have blew our sauce off 
uh, in No, he wouldn't have because I was dating a woman <laughs> when Water for Elephants came out and I was forced to watch that movie and I'm not doing that again. I already what? saw enough Twilight and I saw Water for Elephants. Fuck Robert Pattinson. But look, the girl I was dating, she forced me to watch Twilight too, and yes, it sucked. But he has grown since then. He has grown as an actor since then. And I like I read an article about Robert Pattinson. He said he was reading. Is it the one where he wasn't working out to prepare for his role as Batman? Because apparently it's not a physical role. Well, you know what? I don't. I think he was trolling us because I seen some some pictures of him and he looks shredded. But I'm I think he's think. doing the Shazam diet where he's got some like inflatable muscles in the suit. I it's hope not, because that'll suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> But I read an article about him and he was talking about he was reading all the comments of people who doubted him and it was, you know, saying just bad things about him and rude. And he said he used that as fire because he's he he said he's gonna give us the best performance of Bruce Wayne and Batman we ever seen. And let's be honest, let's be honest. If you can deliver as Bruce Wayne, Batman is smooth sailing. It's smooth sailing. Listen, let's be honest. I've heard a I re, I I read a recent interview from Brian Michael Bennis where he said he he was going to use all the feedback about his current Superman run and he was going to make all those readers understand that his take on the character was actually great and he was going to put more work into that and do his best writing ever to turn the fans opinion. I have yet to be <laughs> convinced that that is the case. I also have heard Tom King say that he was unfairly criticized for his take on Batman and that people would come around by the time City of Bane came around because the story was so amazing, they would be hooked. That certainly didn't happen. I think Robert Pattinson is just spinning you, and he's played. He played you like a fiddle. You bought it hook, line, and sinker. He's just he's he just took twelve dollars out of your pocket. He didn't do anything. He's just gonna be some emo Batman that sparkles in the moonlight. I think what it is, Wes, you just don't like the suit. It's the suit, huh? The suit, like the suit looks fine. The suit looks dope, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the suit is cool. You don't like the Batmobile. Batmobile looks awesome. What are you talking oh, okay. about? I like okay. local cars. Okay, okay. I hate all the casting except for the dude playing Jim Gordon. That's it. Well, that's it. I can understand that. And, and Zoe, the chick that's playing Catwoman, that was a bad pick. She's not a good actress. She's gorgeous, but she's not a good actress. She's not a good actress. You seen her in X-Men? First class, she sucked. Yeah, okay, she was the the flying one. She was also she was in uh, she was in that Mad Max movie. It was like yeah, she sucked. It's not very good. As as, as uh, 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 Kravitz's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Who's her mom? Is the she was used to be on uh, the Hustlers, right? Yeah, she you, that was the niece. That was the niece. That's the niece's mom. And and yeah. and, the, and and Jason Momoa is her stepdad. That's yeah. a crazy connection, ain't it? Terrible casting. Colin Farrell's the penguin. Colin Farrell's dope. They had you got to Seth Rogen to... in to do auditions. Why is he not the penguin? He's the perfect shape and character for the penguin. That's true. He's fat. That's true. Yes, That's true. he's bulbous. He's got the proportion. He looks like Grimace. Yeah. Which you need if you want to play a good penguin. They, they should have did the Danny DeVito thing. Now they're trying to make penguin sexy. You can't make Pink and Swiss sissy. No. He's never been sissy in the comic books. He's grotesque. He's supposed to be awful. Seth Rogen was perfect. He was born to play that character. That's Robert true. Pattinson as, as Batman is like, get out of here. I saw Water for Elephants. He has got no chance of pulling this off. And I saw Twilight. And I think I saw him in a Harry Potter movie I didn't want to see, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, he oh. Those. I think he was in one of them. I think it was like the... I don't no, know. I whatever think, they had the whatever think, games, think, and he had I all the people. He was in a because that's. I think that's when he first started acting. He was in a few. His first big gig. He was probably yeah. about I don't know thirty four when that one happened. <laughs> then he got his big break in <laughs> Twilight when he was forty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's a small possibility that you are like Matt Reeves, Batman? Matt Reeves is a great director. He is a great director. Absolutely, there's a possibility. If you Maybe he's gonna director, he's gonna blow my mind that all this casting is he's done has actually been fantastic. I, I don't see seen, it happening. I have seen great directors take average actors or below average actors 
to another level in film. Yeah, he took he used James Franco and he didn't ruin the movie with him. That's a good job. Yeah, you know, he was in Planet of the Apes. Yeah, or is it Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? One of those. It's either either one. I'm like good good movies. Good movies. You don't like yeah, Andy he even took that. What? You don't like Andy Serkis? Is Alfred going to be a CGI like monster? <laughs> Is Alfred going to be a CGI chimpanzee from Planet of the Apes? And I'll think it's amazing. But if he's supposed to be Alfred, no. Come Get on, a real man. actor that plays one like with his skin on and not and just with a bunch of little things on his face. You better at least give the Andy Serkis uh, uh, some props when he was Did in you Marvel? like him in he the Black like Panther Marvel. movie? I thought he was awful. <laughs> you didn't like him at the claw? No. Nobody did. Did you? Oh, hey. Well, you're gonna hate this movie, man. What can I, I know I'm gonna hate this movie. That's why we're making the video. You're you're, you're the one that's excited that's, for it. This, this is the thing about it. Me and Wes, I finally figured it out. We polar opposites when it comes to movies. Well, yeah, you I know, like good movies I, and you like crap. You you're the reason all the bad movies get made, <laughs> and I'm the reason I'm the guy that complains about it. Like you're so. you're the reason I can't get good movies nowadays. I guess so, man. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so are you you're excited for traumatized Batman? Have we not seen traumatized Batman enough? But let's be honest, Batman is traumatized. He's traumatized. He is traumatized. He's he's taken that trauma, oh, he turned it into his own so personal hard. vow that he was never gonna let that happen again, and he was gonna fight crime to his dying day to, to avenge his parents, you know, in their memory. Yes, he oh, is of course he's traumatized. That is not a normal response to, to stress. If you had an ideal Batman movie, how would it go? How would it go? How, what would Batman nineteen eighty nine, The Dark Knight. Those are yeah. both perfect. Yeah, he's supposed to be traumatized. We all know that. That's part of the character. But going the Tom King route, emo, sad Batman. I imagine he's going to drop a tear in the cow because it's Robert Pattinson. He's going to drop. He's going to pull out his his uh, his his big you know his big move. He's going to drop a tear and like get out of here with that stuff. He's supposed to be so traumatized he doesn't even really show emotions. That's why he's cool. You got a point. I would give you Takes that. Some emotions out on the criminals. Yeah, yeah. I just hope you know what? You just made a light bulb go off in my head. Yeah, you're right. He's so traumatized he don't show emotions. So if he walking around crying and acting all sad and sleeping in the dark and playing sad music. Yeah, you might have a point, man. He's like gonna come home after beating the piss out of Penguin. He's gonna look at Alfred and he's gonna drop a tear. He's gonna be like, "I still miss him, man." <laughs> Alfred's gonna be like, "Put your head on my bosom." He's gonna take him in there. It's okay, son. It's okay. <laughs> Cry Let it out, son. Let it out. Let it out. This, they're proud of you. <laughs> You're still not going to change my mind. It's going to be a good movie. I know I'm not going to change your mind. <laughs> Poppy, I know you're excited. Hopefully you got all the viewers excited for it. I'm not changing my mind either. The yeah. good thing is I am four and a half hours away from the nearest movie theater. It's like if I wanted to see this on opening day, I would have to schedule an entire family trip with my five-year-old, my one-year-old, my wife. And, uh, you know, we would have to book hotel rooms and stuff to take, you know. And I would have to coincide it with something else because we can't just go to the movies. My yeah. wife would be like, no. So when we went to go see Avengers Endgame, you know, it was Christmas shopping. When we wow. went to go see Star Wars, uh, what was it The Force Awakens? Force Awakens. Was that the last Star Wars movie no, I ever Rise saw? Of, Rise of Skywalker. No, no. Force Awakens is the last Star Wars movie I ever saw. No. That for, had to be. Oh, oh okay. okay. That was, you That's, know, I was doing some of my immigration paperwork. Like, we, oh, okay. we have to double it up. But I won't have to worry about that with the Batman because I ain't seeing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be bad. We'll I'm bring you on the channel. You can do a review, and you can tell me how awful it was. You'll be like, Wes, you were right. I'm like, I know I was right. I you never know, man. The signs were all there. Look at the cast. Look at the way, the way they're explaining Batman. I think the casting is excellent. Excellent. You just said Zoe Kravitz is a terrible actor. That's the only exception, man. You, you already said Colin Farrell shouldn't be Penguin. He's too sexy. Yeah, but he can act. <laughs> He may, he may make us forget about Ugly Penguin, you know? No. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, though. I can't think of another good Colin Farrell movie outside of Phone Book. 
I can't think of one. Matter There's fact, a good one out there that I remember he did when he was younger, but I can't remember the. Oh man, there's so many bad Colin Farrell movies. You remember you when he Hannibal? played? Uh, well, no, it wasn't Hannibal. It was Alexander. You remember when he oh, played Bullseye and Daredevil? Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> he played really Bullseye. Over the top. <laughs> yeah. I remember him doing like a weird movie with uh, Ed Ed Norton where they were like D agents or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I realized that. like this dude's a bad actor and he doesn't know how to pick good movies. Watch Phone Booth. It's a good movie by Colin Farrell. And I've it's really it. and, and, it, it and it's just Colin Farrell. It's really Colin Farrell the whole. Movie. I can't believe you're underselling Kiefer Sutherland like this. Like, yeah, yeah, but he was talking. You didn't see him. You saw him at the last part of the movie, and even when you saw him, he was blurry. You just heard his. It voice. didn't matter. You knew who his voice was just from Twenty Four and the commercials that he. Yeah, that's na- true. Narrated. But still, the, the face of the movie was Colin Farrell. That's why no one watched it. <laughs> <laughs> they actually lost money on a movie that they just filmed in a phone booth. That movie did bad. Of course it did. It's a Colin Farrell movie. Nothing he does makes money. Well, that makes sense because when I go to my video game shop, they always have sales where you can get uh, seven DVDs for uh, uh, seven bucks. Phone booth. The Colin phone. Farrell selection six bucks, right? <laughs> you gotta take a dollar off for Colin Farrell. <laughs> I guess so, man. I guess so. Oh no, I, I feel bad. He, you know, it felt like he was an up and coming like actor. He's going to be big time. It just it never worked out for him. He picked out all the worst movies. Like we both didn't have a good feel for it. Total Recall is horrible. It is it horrible. Is awful. I agree. Alexander was horrible. What was the uh, the recruit? No, I, I with... forgot about Alexander. Alexander is a good movie. I like Alexander. Yeah, you like 300, too. That makes sense. Yeah, you know, I like that Greek mythology type, you know. Oh, I was going with the homoerotic route. No, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like the warriors type stuff, you know? Hey, whatever, whatever you sell it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, I'm sorry. I've been busting your nuggets long enough here. Nah, I do man. appreciate you coming in here talking about your thoughts fun, on man. Matt Reeves, the Batman, Robert Pattinson. I'm not really on board. These not these these uh, characterizations of a traumatized Batman get me less on board. But you're 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 keeping the faith, and you you know it's gonna you're gonna knock it out of the park. You're, am I? You're, I'm gonna eat crow when it's good. Okay, how's that? Yeah, eat crow, man. It's coming. <laughs> All right, later, buddy. Oh, also, if you enjoy Fatal Joe, he t- he talked. Fatal Joe. If you enjoy Fatal Jay, he talks about movies all the time on his own YouTube channel, and you can subscribe there uh, right here at the end of the video. You just click the button, go over subscribe, and he's even more funny when, you know, it's just him and people he likes. When it's me and him, he he doesn't bring the funny. (laughs) That's not true. This is cool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.